What's up, Tacoma Famous here? How y'all doing with this heat? Y'all know me, I'm doing all right. It's uh, getting a little bit nighttime, about to uh, lay myself down to sleep. But I just want to address this because some of y'all are still out here buying cheap cars and you're not doing your due diligence. Uh, and so since you're still buying, let me give y'all some, some, some free advice. I'm going to get into this negative equity conversation tomorrow when I got more time when I'm filling up to it. But let me tell you the dumbest thing you can say in a car dealership. And I've seen this happen a thousand times. Uh, you know, car bar walks in, person, you know, you're about to buy a car. They went on a test drive. They liked the features. It fit into their budget. And we did then some negotiations. And out of nowhere, the car buyer says, go tell your boss I'm paying with cash. And what's my price? Now, this makes no sense. And it literally makes you look stupid. It shows that you didn't do your due diligence before you walked your tail into the car dealership. So what you did was you wasted the car salesperson time, but ultimately you wasted your time. Because what happens is the dealership is not the one that's loaning you the money. Back in the day, or, or if you ever bought the car from a gravel lot where they have buy here, pay, pay here, that might... That, that might have been the case. That's what they call in-house financing. And that's for some of y'all who's got difficult credit issues and you don't want to try to repair your, your credit. But anyway, I'm off topic. Let me get back on topic. So, if you were paying cash and you did in-house fin financing, you got a better deal. Because they didn't have to worry about if they were going to get all their money or not. Because if you couldn't afford the payment or you couldn't make a payment, you were going to bring the car back to the dealership because the dealership still owned the car or they're going to send somebody to get the car. Either way, you out of a down payment, you out of all those monthly payments, and now you out of a vehicle that you didn't save for and you thought you could afford. That's the way they did business back in the day. We're no longer in those days. When you get a bank loan, when you get a loan and it's not made by the dealership, the bank, the credit union, or whoever yo, yo, whoever's financing that car for you, they cut a check to the dealership. The dealership no longer owns that car. The bank, car, the, the finance people, they didn't pay that car in full. So cash means nothing. So tell your uncle, your great uncle, your granddad, your cousin's mama, your cousin's father, grandmother, and your father, you don't get a better deal paying cash. I'm Tacoma Famous sharing some car buying advice to you. If you don't want to listen to me, you still want to be making those bad car decisions here in 2021, you go right ahead. A year later from now, 18 months, you're going to walk in a car dealership and try to get out of that bad decision that you made. And it's not going to happen, Captain. It's not going to happen. But remember, Tacoma Famous, who's been in the business, he told you. He told you. He told you. I told you so. I'm out of here. Good night. Stay hydrated. Get plenty of water, plenty of fluids in your body. Tomorrow is going to be a scorcher. And, man, I got some more information I'm going to share with, with you. Not It's not the highlight information because some of y'all still buying cars. And I'm going to help those people out who are still out there buying cars in this market when there's a car shortage. Some of y'all need to take a business class, supply and demand, supply and demand. It tells you everything you need to know. I'm out of here. That's enough tonight.